Being electrocuted is not fun, but electrocuting other people is fun. So in today's post project, I'm gonna be creating the static shock glove. For the main source of power, I'm gonna be using this arc lighter. By dumping a bunch of current in between these two electrodes, it creates a high heat beam of electrons used to start fires. But I need this thing to fit on my hand. So we could take off a couple of these safety features and we can remove this protective casing. So then all we're left with is the electrodes, this button, a battery, and whatever this is. Assuming that I can just ignore it and it won't catch on fire, all that's left to do is wire up the electrodes to my fingers. I want to mount everything on this rubber work glove, but the main reason I got it was to insulate me from the shock. So I began to glue the electrodes to my index finger and my thumb and finally see my first electrical project come to life. What really happened was rather than jump across the terminals, the electrons decided to shock a microscopic hole straight through the center of my hand. To account for this, I hammered down a nickel and dime to be used as finger shields. For those who think I'm destroying currency, don't worry, I don't care. This thing is finally up and running, so now let's see if it's actually useful. This device still produces a really hot beam of electrons, but now it also has the added ability to send an impressive arc of electricity through pretty much any metal. I'd say this proven itself to be the most efficient tool for modern self-protection and questionable acts of violence. <laughs> My next video in this mini-series is going to be something you guys put in the comments below, so let me know what you want to see next.